everyone and welcome to Under Pulse with Fingerprints. My name is Aida and very happy about this episode because it's about uh, how to secure trust and performance for the biometric payment card rollout. And with me today I have Michelle Roig uh, working at Fingerprints and I also have uh, Stephanie Alromi from FEMA, a, collab a company that we are collaborating with. So I will ask them to, to make a small introduction of themselves and then we will dig right into to, uh, biometric payment cards and uh, testing the, the certifications and, and the rollouts for, for them. So hi, Stephanie. Hello. Hi. So, Stephanie Romoy. I'm a Vice President Services in uh, FIM. I'm heading a multicultural team delivering uh, testing in uh, 10 countries around the world. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, that's uh, uh, really important to be close to our customer to help them. I will explain in further later. Perfect. Looking forward to that. And I also have Michelle Roig joining me. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Aida. Nice to be here again. Michelle Roig, I think some of you know me already. I'm uh, the senior vice president and head of our business line payments and access and uh, happy to be here with our with our partner and collaborator FIM today. So actually, my first question is the, for Stephanie, right? The, we want to know more about FEM uh, and its role in the payment sector. So can you tell us a little bit more about FEM and, and what you do there? For sure. So FEM is a trust, trusted partner to create and launch uh, innovative payment solution. Uh, we provide transformative uh, expertise to define, design, deliver, and test the product and services. We have a, a, a strong background in testing with a significant number of uh, accreditation in the payment sector. Uh, FIM, it's over 400 experts uh, in 10 locations around the world with expertise on uh, 3D secure, biometrics, mobile payments, soft posts, open banking, and smart mobility. Cool. Thank you so much for that. Uh, seems like you're super busy uh, within the payment sector, right? Oh, yes. There's uh, many topics uh, ongoing. Uh, biometric is one key topic, but we also have many other topics with 3DS and open banking. And then uh, if I move over to you, Michelle, uh, let's talk a little bit about the fingerprints and theme collaboration and the partnership. Can you explain? Uh, um, a little bit why this has been a great partnership for us at Fingerprints? Of course, I mean, it's it's obvious that we are entering into a new space. Uh, we've been uh, working on the biometric payment cards for some time, but it's it's uh, very different than what we do in the mobile phone sector. Uh, and of course, uh, a, a totally different device. We're talking about the payment card. Uh, and the payment card goes through rigorous testing and certifications. Uh, so, of course, it was not more than natural that we work with a leader in that space, uh, being FIME, uh, looking at how we can test and evaluate our part of the biometric payment card, obviously our sensor and our algorithm. So, together we have looked at how to test uh, and how to fulfill uh, the specifications for testing and certification from the payment schemes, especially MasterCard and Visa. So, that's uh, what, what the partnership has been about and, and making sure that we can uh, uh, align to those specifications and, and make sure that we pass the specifications. Yeah, so talking about testing and cert certifications, uh, Stephanie, why would you say that testing and, and uh, certifications play such an important role within the payment ecosystem? Testing is key to launch a payment solution, ensuring a seamless experience uh, and confidence to the end user uh, is a factor of success and an accelerator for the adoption. Uh, in addition, there's more and more regulation to increase the security, the privacy, uh, notably in the context of biometrics. Huh? Uh, we can mention in Europe GDPR, PSD2, uh, strong customer authentication. The, the payment ecosystem brings together uh, many stakeholders, vendors, bank, fintech, uh, testing is the best way to ensure the interoperability between the different device system that we work together. Ultimately, certification brings trust between the different players. 
Beyond testing certification, it's a continuous process. The, the product undergoes regular testing to check against the latest spec, uh, latest test plan. The, the certification ensures the product comply with the latest standard and regulatory requirements. Uh, for the product vendor, it's of course a differentiator with their competitor. For the integrator, it offers flexibility uh, to, to change from one provider to another and reduce the time to market. So the, the whole ecosystem benefits from the test and certification. Yeah, and then, then uh, my thoughts goes over to how the importance of, of applying testing and certifications to bi biometric payment cards. Uh, what is your input on that, Michel? Well, well, as as Stephanie said, I couldn't say it better. She's the expert in this area. But for us, it was very important to make sure that uh, our product can comply, uh, but also that we are a, an expert in biometry, right? So we want to influence and 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 advise and support the industry and the ecosystem to make sure that biometrics are tested in the right way. Um, so for us, again, it's a stamp of approval. It's a stamp of quality, and it's a stamp of performance. So as the topic said. How do we bring uh, trust and performance uh, to the payment card uh, ecosystem? And, and that's what it's all about. We want to make sure that we push the boundaries to make it secure, but also that we get uh, the quality needed for the end customer and at the end, the consumers who would use the product. So, of course, uh, putting a, a sensor into a payment card uh, means that uh, the sensor has to survive the many years that a card will be uh, in, in the consumer's pocket and being used. So obviously, it's part of our DNA to make sure that we design products that fit the use case. Uh, so for us, it's very important to be able to achieve uh, such level of, of quality and, 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 uh, and uh, make sure that the testing goes hand in hand. So for us, it was about, I mean, being first, differentiator, as Stephanie said, but to show that we have excellent uh, products that fit into this ecosystem. Yes, and, and Stephanie, would you say that testing and certification processes helps biometric products evolve? Would you agree on that? Of course, of course. As I was explaining before, uh, certification is a continuous process, especially when it comes to security. Uh, technology is fast evolving. Uh, same applies to attacker. Uh, so the product shall remain at the cutting edge of the technology and implement the latest uh, protections. So going into details, uh, we measure the false acceptance rate, the false rejection rate, and we set an acceptable rate to balance between the user experience and the robustness. Uh, we assess the performance of the algorithm with testing the sensor with a panel uh, that includes different ethnicity, different age class. This is also very useful to improve the product performance. We can play also on the uh, environmental uh, condition, temperature, humidity, or uh, natural light when we talk about uh, facial. Uh, we also measure the timing performance. Uh, it's key to ensure a, a smooth experience for the end users. And obviously, we measure the, the resistance to spoofing. All this, uh, the, the process, the test methodology are also evolving to help vendors speeding up their product readiness. Uh, without compromising on security. Uh, we have uh, recently uh, an improvement in the process with uh, the product inheritance from uh, the sensor qualification. Uh, we have internally uh, uh, within FIM uh, PhD working on research projects uh, like uh, synthetic uh, database and uh, other innovation that will bring uh, value to the testing and certification. So all these contribute to improve the product performance and robustness. Great. And, and Michelle, uh, speaking about consumer uh, adoption and, and, uh, and for the long term, how do, you expect, uh, how do you expect that evolving within the biometric payment cards and mobile payments? Well, I mean, obviously, we see uh, the card to be a, a strong uh, payment device, a, a strong payment form factor for many years ahead. We've done a lot of consumer research and consumer studies that show that the mobile phone and the card actually can live side by side. It's not one or the other. It depends on the situation, depends on, on, on where you are and how you want to pay. Uh, we do see a, a strong 
preference for the contactless card in these pandemic times that has raised dramatically. And of course, what we're trying to do with the biometric uh, payment card is to to uh, to uh, to make that convenience secure and uh, to make that seamless transition and frictionless experience for the consumers. They're already used to using biometrics in the mobile phones. So now they have two devices they can use in a similar way. And we see in the studies that that consumers actually are so used to biometrics in mobile phones that they expect it in new devices. We've seen the uptake in, in PCs and that's still strongly growing. Uh, and, and the other devices that actually consumers talk about as the next device for biometrics is uh, a payment card. So it was logical for us to go into this uh, space. Uh, on top of that, uh, studies show that actually consumers are, are very keen to get such a product, even consumers who don't know what the product is after being explained what we're doing, actually like the product very much and would like to have the product. Uh, and, and, and around 50% of the consumers we ask actually are even willing to pay an extra fee on their normal cost for a card for getting uh, this feature. Uh, and, and similar number actually are even willing to switch banks if one bank offer it and the other doesn't. So I think there's a strong future uh, for the card still ahead for many, many years, uh, and it will live side by side with the mobile phone, with wearables and other payment devices that will come. Yes, and, and on that note, uh, what milestones do you see that we have overcome for this last past year? And uh, how do you see it involving uh, for the next 12 months, perhaps? How do you see the, what do you think holds for biometric payment cards? So I think if we look back a year from today, uh, backwards, Obviously, we saw the first certifications, right? That's what we're talking about today. So the first certifications on card level, including our technology, were, were achieved with both MasterCard and Visa. And those products are now being commercially rolled out. So we have launches, as you know, in France with uh, BNP, Credit Agricole. We have launch in, in Mexico with BBVA. And there are more to come. Uh, beyond that, uh, early this year, we did uh, pass a qualification for a next generation uh, product that uh, that we have available uh, and we have delivered to to some key customers already uh, that passed the qualification from the schemes for the for the next sort of generation of cards and and I can say already from the last certification to where we are today it has evolved as as Stephanie pointed out so we're happy to say that we passed uh, one of the schemes qualification tests for biometrics uh, in terms of sensor and algorithm and that's now being used into uh, card integrations. So if I then look ahead, I think uh, obviously what we will see is cards being certified again with the latest technology. Uh, I think that's what's coming. And then, of course, that will entail more and more launches and, and, and hopefully a, a progressive ramp up of volumes and, and additional banks launching. That's what we're looking ahead of. Yes, and and uh, let me ask the same question for you, Stephanie, from your perspective and from FEMA's perspective. Uh, how do you see the next 12 months? Uh, what do you see hold for biometric payment cards? I uh, totally agree with uh, Michel. Uh, we will see more and more uh, fingerprint uh, card deployment. Uh, it's really attractive for the uh, user perspective, uh, removing the contactless transaction amount limits. Uh, we will see also uh, online payment. Uh, th there's a lot of uh, use case with biometric, notably with the migration to 3D secure and the strong customer authentication. The transit is also adopting the biometric to speed up the, the gate access. Uh, this rapid adoption is bringing improvement in the testing uh, and certification, uh, as I was uh, explaining earlier. To today, Team is providing a test for fingerprint and facial recognition, and we have published a, an ebook on optimizing the biometric solution on our website. And we continue to evolve uh, our PhD working on facial recognition, but also behavioral biometrics. Mm -hmm. And we have a team of experts involved in, in leading standardization initiatives uh, like ISO or FIDO. Uh, to to again improve the uh, testing methodology, so there's more things to come. Yes, and and to summarize this call, I understand that we cannot emph emphasize enough how important testing and certification is uh, for the payment sector as it is, but also for biometric payment cards, right? Um, 
Absolutely. I think from our perspective, it's about, uh, as Stephanie said uh, in the opening statement, it's about pushing the boundaries, making security uh, evolve and make it more, 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 more secure every time. And, and, and then, of course, testing and certification needs to evolve together with that to making sure that we, uh, we have a very trusted product on the market. So uh, means more to come on the testing and certification means more to come on the product side. Product needs to evolve together with that. Uh, so a lot to come, and 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 we at Fingerprints we like to push the boundary and and making a technology state of the art. Of course, and 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 Stephanie, any last and words? Same, to same applies from you? to Kim. We, we are trying to evolve. We we try to uh, to to keep uh, the the race of the technology and uh, and uh, improve and uh, and it was really a, a pleasure to to work. Uh, uh, with fingerprints uh, on this project, uh, this perfect partnership uh, brings a lot of value to both companies. Absolutely, I, I agree. So thank you guys for taking your time and joining me for this on the pulse session. It was very interesting, and uh, yeah, let's just try to keep up with the race and and uh, touch bases soon again, right? Yes. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.